On the 23rd of May, 1996, a man was walking along a wooded canal bank on Old US 27 in Clewiston, Palm Beach County, Florida. As he was searching for scrap metal and cans, he came across a seemingly discarded maroon and white Indian or Mexican style blanket and a woman's black and white sweater. As he got closer to the blanket and sweater, it became apparent that there was a deceased baby girl wrapped inside. She was estimated to be around three to five weeks old and was either white or Hispanic. She had black or dark brown hair and due to decomposition, it couldn't be determined what color her eyes were. An autopsy concluded that the baby girl had a fractured mandible and maxilla and that she had either died of accidental or intentional injuries. It was announced that the death was being investigated as a murder. An investigation into the murder as well as the identity of the baby girl was soon underway. Since the body was so decomposed, fingerprints couldn't be lifted. Footprints, however, could be lifted, and investigators compared the footprints to hundreds of footprints of missing children that were available at hospitals. None were a match, however. Today, the identity of Baby Bell remains a mystery, along with the identity of her killer. According to Morbidology, the grim discovery completely stunned the area and traumatized even the most seasoned investigators. The baby girl was barely a month old and she had met a violent end. It hit a nerve with us, said Sergeant Jim Storms, who was supervising the investigation. They would ultimately announce that the death of baby Bell was being investigated as a homicide. With a lack of leads, investigators would subpoena birth records from two hospitals in the Glades area for all births up to eight weeks before baby Bell was discovered. Within the first week, they were able to rule out 25 of the 30 babies that were born within that time period. Twelve days after Baby Bell was discovered, investigators, along with four clergymen, planted a cross of white carnations, roses and daisies at the scene where Baby Bell was found. They continued their search for information which could crack the case, speaking to local farmers who lived in the secluded area and holding multiple press conferences. Unfortunately and very quickly, the tragic case went cold. At this point, we're pretty much at a dead end, said Sergeant Storms. We have an infant who is not going to get a decent burial, and that's extremely upsetting, no matter how many cases you handle. Despite an exhaustive investigation, the true identity of Baby Bell, along with the identity of the person who took her life, remains a mystery to this very day. You know what really gets me? It's the sheer darkness of taking away a life, especially like a newborn baby. Look at Baby Bell, for example pure, innocent, limitless potential, just like any other baby out there. She had a whole life ahead of her. All those years to experience, to grow, to flourish, to thrive, to create a future. But instead, her story was abruptly cut short. And it's moments like this that make you stop and think for a moment, to really appreciate the value of every single human life. When you consider the ripple effect of Baby Bell's absence in the world, the missed opportunities, the dreams that are that are left unfulfilled, it's gut-wrenching. It's a stark and brutal reminder of how we must cherish all these new lives and every moment that we have with anybody younger than us, that there are monsters out there that seek to snuff out the light in the world. I just wanted to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video as I spoke a little bit about this unidentified mystery. Uh, it just serves to highlight the importance of bringing the light this sort of information and these sort of cases so that awareness can be spread. Uh, the death of any child, um, no matter the age, is obviously a, a tragedy that goes without saying and I hope that as we raise awareness for these cases, especially these um, cases of unidentified victims, that more information can come to light and some of these unsolved mysteries can become solved as a result. Thank you again for everybody that watched this video. My name is Marcel from Aussie Horror and until the next video, I will catch you guys around.